this is Chad from MissionBit. This video will be the first in a series on using GitHub for team collaboration. GitHub will allow us to create a repository that will house our code and allow us to add teammates as contributors so that we may work on projects as a team. In this video, we will be creating a new repository, adding a teammate as a collaborator and cloning the project to our computer. To get started, sign into your GitHub account. On the home screen, you'll see a button for starting a new project. Let's go ahead and click on that. Once we've come to the page to create a new repository, we need to name it. This one is gonna be simple and be called Team Collaboration. Give a short description. This is gonna be added to the readme of the repository. A readme is a file that you can add as a description to the project. You can see down here that we're gonna go ahead and check this box. The description that we can give is a project used for demonstrating team collaboration. We can go ahead and leave it as public since right now there's no reason for us to keep it hidden. You can go ahead and ignore the rest of these for now. I can talk about what a git ignore is at a later date. Creating the repository is going to go ahead and take us to the home page. Go ahead and give this a second to load. Once it has been created, you can see there's a very simple project that has been generated. We have our readme with the name of the project, team collaboration, and the short description that we gave, a project used for demonstrating team collaboration. You can see for right now that there are no other files in the project. We'll go ahead and change that later on. Now let's focus on adding a teammate so that they may collaborate with us. Go ahead up to the settings page at the top of the menu bar. On the second menu item to the left, you'll see is manage access. If you click on that, it's gonna offer us the ability to invite a collaborator. A collaborator is gonna be searched for by GitHub username. So you'll need to get the GitHub username of the team members that you want to add to this project. The team member that I'm going to add is a friend of mine named Reese Wallian. Thank you for helping out today, Reese. You're gonna confirm that you wanna add this person to the repository. Once you've sent this over, you're gonna be able to see that you're awaiting their response and that they're pending invite. Reese will join this shortly, and then we'll go ahead and make some code changes at a later time. Jumping back to the code portion of the project, we now wanna be able to pull this project onto our local machine so that we're able to contribute to it. In order to do that, you're gonna go ahead to the code portion to the dropdown, copy, the GitHub link, and then open up your terminal. With terminal open, there's this, a couple of important Git commands that I'll leave in a checklist as well for this video. The first one in order to get the project is Git cloning. Cloning is gonna pull the project down from the GitHub server onto your machine. So you say Git clone and then include that link that we just copied. It's gonna go ahead and pull the project onto your machine. Now I'm still in a parent source directory. If I list out the options, you'll see that team collaboration as a project is now there. If I go into that project, I now will be on the main branch for this project. In order to determine the branch that you are on, you can use the command get status. This is gonna tell you which branch you're on and whether or not it's up to date with the origin. The origin is the central source of your code that is on GitHub. It is the head of the main branch. Now that we have added a contributor and pulled the project down, we're ready to go ahead and start contributing with our teammates. This will be done in a separate video. Thank you.